Hi guys, Mike Rui here. Today we want to talk about uh, creating a simple mission in BMS. So, um, um, first of all, this video will be a, a kind of three parts, so to say. Uh, first part will be uh, creating a simple mission in the uh, TE Builder, which, which comes with BMS. In part two, we will uh, go uh, and use a tool named Mission Commander to modify this build mission a little bit better. And uh, in part three, maybe I will introduce some other tools like uh, uh, Weather Commander or Tyrant's Mission Tool or uh, whatnot. So we will see uh, how things go. So first of all, we create a mission. We are here in the BMS uh, 2D map. We go to Tactical Engagement and go to T Builder. So, um, again, uh, this is the 2D map of uh, the KTO map. You see already some colors. Uh, those are the different teams. Um, blue versus red is normally the standard case, so to say. So blue is South Korea, North, uh, red is uh, North Korea. We have also China, Russia and Japan. Also as some uh, allied forces uh, like NATO and US. So those teams you can see here. Um, normally, uh, uh, it's uh, by default that uh, the first three uh, nations are against the next three, and NATO is kind of, uh, uh, as much as I know, uh, 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 yeah, has no, uh, you know, is neutral, so to say. Uh, but uh, again, uh, in later part two, I will show you how to modify relations that even, you know, like NATO can fight against Japan or whatever. Uh, but that's uh, in the next uh, video. So again, uh, you see some colors. Uh, those blue colors are, for example, the same blue colors that you see here. That, that defines the area. So for uh, so you can also change the area. Uh, so to say, I want to... I want to make them uh, bigger, uh, the blue area bigger. Uh, you can do it with that little brush, so to see. It's uh, pretty easy, uh, uh, but for now, uh, that's not that important. Uh, what is important for the beginning also is to set the skill level of each nation. So, for example, I, for this uh, tutorial, I use uh, the South Korean nation and I set all skill levels to ace. Also, I set the skill levels of my uh, enemy, um, which is North Korea, to ace. Because I uh, want to fly, uh, you know, against a more serious threat. Okay, uh, this is set. And let's say, okay, let's do a little game plan. Um, right now you see uh, only air bases on this map. And uh, you see airports right now. So my plan for today is to attack an airport. Okay, so, so to say an Oka strike. Um, and uh, uh, how to do that? It's pretty easy. You, so you see... Uh, different uh, friendly airports and you see uh, different uh, enemy airports and I wanna uh, 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 have one flight um, attacking this one so this is uh, Heiju airport and I wanna make sure that my squadrons take off in Kimpo okay so um, I right click on uh, Heiju so to say and say at Ah, first, uh, the most important thing is before you do that, you have to make sure that you selected the right nation. Because uh, so, if you uh, select a wrong nation, uh, yeah, it creates trouble. So I, so my nation, what I fly for is South Korean, so that's blue, and I have to make sure that this blue one is selected here. Okay, um, then I right-click on the Heiju Airport that I want to attack and say at package. Okay, um, I will define my takeoff time, uh, which uh, is uh, by default set 20 minutes uh, in the future to the actual time. So right now we have one Zulu, and I want to set the takeoff time to 122 Zulu. Uh, so it's uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to ramp, uh, time to ramp, and uh, two minutes uh, also extra for the server to go in 3D. Um, let's do this okay so i set new and i let's say as an aircraft type i say the block 50 say oka strike and the four ship it's a four ship flight and uh 
yeah, for now I create a new new squadron. My airbase is, uh, as mentioned, uh, Kimpo, and my target is Heiju, so that's also already selected. In my skill level, so that's all, all just defines the skill level of the AI that I'm flying with. I set this also to Ace. And now, um, um, so again, it depends a little bit on the threat threats and the overall game plan. So uh, also when you make a game plan, you have to decide, okay, there is there any uh, is, it, is there any need for uh, support units like airwax, tanker and so on and so forth. But uh, you can s will see, uh, so the, the uh, distance from Kimpo to Heiju is about 60 uh, uh, miles or something. So for that, we don't need a tanker. And right now we don't have enemy air forces in the area, so we don't need also AVEX. But uh, again, when you make a game plan or a mission, you have to define both nations. You know, you have to uh, set units for both nations, like for air forces, for uh, for ground forces, and so on and so forth. But that's uh, again a little simple mission. Okay, um, so the uh, 2D map is created automatically uh, a route, so to say, and uh, we can uh, manipulate that route for now. So you can say, okay, I want to build that route that way, uh, uh, for example, um, what are, so you have different steer points, so this, uh, this thing, these little symbols are called steer points. And when you click on one of them, you can see what the uh, information of the steer point is. For example, <coughs> for steer point two, uh, uh, the 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 uh, 2D or the BMS defined automatically at steer two. We are at about 4,500 feet. This is the speed. This is the formation, and so on and so forth. All that data you can manipulate pretty easily. Uh, uh, but uh, in terms of mission and manipulation, uh, we do that in part two. <clears throat> so uh, let's say, okay, we take off in Kimpo and also uh, we attack this Heiju airbase, but uh, of course, uh, just attacking it, it would be pretty easy. So uh, we have to find uh, that there are uh, some uh, base defense at uh, um, Heiju. So because of that we change the color to a red or to North Korea and say okay uh, right click on Heiju and uh, we want to add something so that was wrong uh, we want to add a, a battalion so to say add battalion is mostly for SAMs or for AAA and let's say okay uh, uh, we want to have there some base defense like an SA3 just for an example so uh, <coughs> we click on uh, uh, OK, and now you see the little red symbol that created an SA3 at uh, at Heiju. Um, to make sure this is working uh, uh, or it's it's right, you can uh, right click on the, the symbol and go on Recon. And uh, it took some seconds uh, because the cool thing is in the Recon screen you can see actually where this SA3 is located. Okay. It's like an Intel tool, so to say. So you see the base here, and now you see the SA3 is uh, re very much positioned at the uh, yeah center of the runway. Um, so, you, so you, that changes our game plan dramatically, so to say, because uh, um, yeah. Now the base is uh, able to to defend uh, itself, and normally uh, that affects us to choose the right weapon to make our game plan working. Okay, let's save this mission. Okay, we are happy with it. It's again a very simple mission, and uh, let's say test YouTube. Okay, so we save this. Done. Okay, I would recommend uh, to modify uh, this mission first. Uh, you can modify it here, of course. You can say, okay, this this route doesn't. I don't. I don't like the route, uh, so to say. Uh, uh, um, but that's uh, totally fine. So you can uh, you can leave it as it is. And now you see you want to fly the, that mission, so to say. Okay. Uh, um, you go to technical engagement again and clicked on saved. And now you see test YouTube. So that's our 
uh, mission that we created. And uh, normally it uh, chooses uh, uh, automatically the uh, nation that uh, you uh, set it squadrons uh, the latest. So in our case, uh, select the rock, okay? And then click on uh, uh, commit or uh, how's it called? Yeah, commit. And now you see our flight, okay? This is our flight, uh, our four ship flight. And now the fun begins. I like this uh, th this window a little bit better to edit all this stuff because it's a little bit has a better overview in terms of changing loadout, changing weather, changing steer points, changing comms and whatnot. But normally it, it's a basically the same like in the TE builder, but a little bit better overview to my taste. Okay, um, let's say our. So we have an SA-3 here. We want to attack the uh, 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 airbase. So we need we need definitely a split loadout. So uh, um, let's change the loadout first. So uh, as again, we are a four ship. I would say just quick and dirty. Number one and number two uh, sticks with the uh, Durandals. Uh, so if you don't know what this weapon is, uh, you can go to tactical reference and uh, uh, search for the uh, BLU-107, um, uh, I think this is uh, somewhere here, no, two p worms anti-runway, and this is it, so you see the Durandals are located here, uh, you can get simpler information about it, if, you not, if you're not sure what uh, weapon to use, but those the Randall's work, so I would say um, number one and two attack the runway, and number three and four take out the um, the uh, SA-3. So for that we need some harms. Let's say um, uh, so when you um, want to make a split loadout, you have to uncheck or check the seats that you want to change. For example, I just want to change not uh, seats three and four, so I uncheck uh, one and two and just uh, make sure that 3 and 4 is checked and then I s uh, switch the uh, the Randalls for 3 and 4 to harms okay now you see uh, uh, we have some juicy harms uh, with 3 and 4 and uh, that's basically it so uh, you can see now uh, uh, we have a mixed loadout for each and everybody that, so that that's a little, looks a little bit like this like green and blue color, color that means uh, basically we have a mixed loadout between in the flight okay uh, so you can uh, set laser codes if you want but not uh, necessary for those loadouts uh, you can change also air to air weapons you can change sensors but for now that's totally fine okay we click ok and that's basically it so um, what is very important uh, is to make sure that uh, um, we have no red lines or red points in the um, in the route, so to say. Okay, um, I don't know why this happened here, um, but it looks a little bit weird, so to say. Uh, day one, day two. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, good good example because I don't know. I'm somehow I fucked up this little uh, mission or this little route uh, uh, good example you know uh, let's do it this way let's create a new mission and delete the old one let's say okay uh, uh, um, I want to create a new package again uh, take off time 122 block uh, 50 Oka strike and the rest is okay so set the target to uh, Hey Ju, airbase, and that's it. So now we see the second flight. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, so this route is now not red and looks right. Um, just have to change the loadout again. Practice makes permanence, you know. Sometimes that happens. Okay, and uh, of course we don't need the first flight. Um, um, so how to delete it? It's pretty easy. Um, uh, first, we have to make sure that no human seats in this flight because if there's any human, you can't delete the flight. 
um, you go to ATO, okay, and uh, uh, you go, uh, uh, you say it's show entire air to air task, uh, air, to air tasking order. Sorry for my bad English, but uh, it's not native. And now we have to uh, delete this flight, so it's package 1974, and it's package 1974. Uh, click on it, right uh, click and say delete. And it's gone. So now um, this is uh, yeah pretty pretty easy and uh, this works mostly. And because we made some major changes, I would recommend to say okay, let's uh, save this mission again. Test YouTube, click save, replace, of course. Um, one little uh, so to say a bonus that I would say is helpful for the mission. Um, you can see again we have SA3 in the area. So um, there's a function in BMS that you can uh, set PPTs or pre-planned threat points, so to say. Um, so you right click on the screen, then set pre-planned threat points and then you click on this uh, threat point and then you select which thread it is. So in our uh, our case, it's an SA3, and now you see it creates a thread ring. Okay, uh, but there's a wrong position because there's no S no SA3, and uh, the goal is here to s uh, set it more or less directly over the SA3 where you know it is. Okay, that cool feature is now uh, that you have. Uh, uh, this thread ring in your system, so to say, you are, uh, you are aware when you fly or entering the SA3 circle, okay? Uh, uh, but to make sure that you see this, uh, you have to make one more step, um, and that brings us to the DTC or to the data uh, transfer cartridge. Uh, this is uh, that little symbol. They basically is responsible for all your uh, frequencies, for all your target steer points, for all information, IFF information, and so, forth, so on and so forth. And uh, to make sure uh, uh, that uh, little steer point is shown in our systems later in the pit, you just have to click or do one thing, and you have just to click save. Okay. Now it saves all the data in here and also all the data in this screen. And uh, yeah, when you have done that and created the DTC, you just have to click save again, search for the mission, test YouTube, boom. Okay. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Now you're good to go. Just uh, again, check the area even. When this was pretty fast, uh, you can uh, uh, fly this mission uh, or, or try it out. What how, how it works, um, and then uh, yeah, later steps you can uh, modify it a little bit. So it's let's say there are, we can implement uh, enemies, or we can implement support units, or more ground uh, enemy uh, ground units, or make a little game plan out of it. You know, or even uh, make a plan for uh, several flights or one package actually so there's open unlimited possibilities but for now start slowly uh, think about what makes sense uh, um, yeah just just uh, have uh, uh, yeah uh, start slowly that's the best advice i can do uh, i can get um yeah this that wraps it up pretty easy so there's a lot of more stuff going on uh, but uh, again this tutorial is just to show you the basics how to actually start um, I also refer to the documentation as always uh, um, yeah and the next part we want to modify this mission a little bit more uh, with the tool called mission commander so uh, let's see in part two and uh, have a good one bye